Well, welcome back to our Avalanche post game show brought to you by your Colorado GMC dealers. All right, the Avs win game two, seven to nothing. It is the second largest shutout in Stanley Cup Finals history. It is the second time in Andre Vasilevsky's career that he's given up seven goals. 465 games, only the second time that he's given up seven. The Avs look like a steamrolling machine. You heard Kale McCarr. There are just beasts all over the ice. Uh, Nick Rothschild is live out at Ball Arena tonight. And Nick, um, we, given all that, we go to Tampa. It's a 2-0 series lead. I was looking all over the internet today, looking up stats. Apparently, 90% of teams that take a 2-0 lead in the finals go on to win the Stanley Cup. So that means the Lightning have about a 10% chance now of winning the Stanley Cup. But you heard it from Kale, from Bednar, from Kemper, from everyone. It ain't over yet because we go to Tampa and they can come back. They've done it before. Anyway, uh, this is a great start to the series, 2-0. But it ain't over, man. That's all I'm saying. No, of course it's not over. And you mentioned Andre Vasilevsky. I don't think he played that bad tonight. I think the defense for Tampa put him in a lot of bad spots. And I think the game plan for the Avalanche, as you heard Jared Bednar say moments ago, was volume, right? Get shots on net. And the Avalanche put more shots on net tonight than Tampa Bay had shot attempts. Also, when the number one line was on the ice for Colorado, that's Landeskog, McKinnon, and Nachushkin, the Tampa Bay Lightning had zero shot attempts for the time that they were on the ice. That is an insane stat. The Tampa Bay offense was like a viper without its dentures. It was toothless. And I think they realized that midway through the second period because they resorted to playing hockey against uh, in a way that was not really that interested in playing hockey. They tried to out-physical the Avs, intimidate the Avs. And in years past, that might have worked. In fact, we saw that last year against Vegas. But it didn't tonight. And I think a perfect example of that is Kale McCarr. The Lightning started to take borderline to cheap shots on Kale mid-ice along the boards. Kale even went off the ice at one point. We thought maybe he was a little dinged up, but he came back, and all he did was score two goals in the third period, including the first shorthanded goal of the Avalanche playoff run. So if you think you're going to intimidate this team, Tampa, I hate to tell you, it ain't working. And as we move to Tampa, Lionel, I know you want to say this series isn't over and they have to take this one game at a time, but I don't see any way that the Lightning can turn this around and win a four out of the next however many games they're going to be playing, five games left. That's just me, my opinion, and that's what I saw tonight. Well, I totally agree with you. I think the Avs will win this series. I think they are going to win the Cup. I'm just saying that it's not going to be a sweep. It may not be easy from here on out because it was certainly easy tonight for sure. All right, Nick, thank you very much. We're going to take another break and be back with an Avalanche postgame show here on Denver 7 right after this.